He's dead. Mm. Oh, no, she's not. Hello, Phil. I know. <laughs> I know. And what a return. I mean, I how did this come about? Because did it take much convincing? No, not really. Um, I was actually doing a few more episodes of Hollyoaks. And right. uh, I was up there and I got a, a phone call from Jane, um, Julia Crampsey, who said to me, um, would you... Uh, uh, Dominic Treadwell Collins, the executive producer, wants to talk to you uh, regarding something that's happening in February, the live show. And I thought, OK, it's presenting Adam with a cake for 30 years. I thought it was going to be something... Or jumping out of a cake or doing a funny sketch for them. So she said, would you come in January to, to, to Dominic's house? I said, yes. I went along then. I thought, all this drive just to talk about presenting a cake. I thought, I don't believe it. Wow. Um, but when we got there and went inside and then Dominic was talking about how the episodes were going and what was happening. And he went... And then, obviously, Phil's been going off to meet somebody. And then we find out it's you. And I went... Hey. Uh, pardon? And he got all upset and I sort of went, I, was, I think I was like rabbit caught in the headlights, I was like that, just to couldn't believe it. And then he went through what, what the storyline was and then when the evening had finished and I went outside, I just burst into tears then. I went, they've asked me back, I can't Aww. believe it, you know. So it was quite a shock, yeah. I really didn't think it would happen. So that was then and of course now it develops and you're, you're back, yes. uh, the, the, the bombshell has been dropped. Mm. So just, just explain then where she's been and what she's been doing. Right, well, Gavin, her new husband, um, is a control freak and really manipulates her and has got, her, got into her head and her skin and everything. So she just thinks she can't, you know, c carry on without him. That's, he's her whole life. Uh, she can't think about anything but Gavin. He just is... And he's a, a bit of an abuser as well, mm. so she's very frightened of him. Mm. So there's all that going on. Um, and, and then... Gavin um, comes up with the idea. He's, he owes a lot of money to loan sharks. And then he gets desperate, he takes out another interest on it, and then they come back after him for, you know, for the money. And he says, we've got to pretend that, you know, we're going to have an accident and we're both dead. And she says, what about Ben? And he says, this is to protect Ben, because they're going to come after us, and if Ben's with us, Ben's going to get killed too. So she thinks, OK, and, and that's why she leaves Ben behind. But it's at the very last minute he tells her about that, because she wouldn't have gone otherwise. Yes. No. But he says, you've got to save Ben, so that's why she goes. So she has got a lot of explaining to do, because she she's back, and been. she's got Ian, and obviously Ben also, that she's got to tell this story to Yeah, Yeah, she, she comes back and the, her first scenes are obviously with Phil, who's been in contact with her for about the last four or five years. Mm. Um, and then she comes back and she had the scene like last night with Sharon. Mm. That was a great scene. I, I love doing that scene <laughs> for old Tisha. Yeah, so she's got a lot to explain to, her with the, to the boys. And the first time, we've just done some scenes recently where, you know, Ian sees her for the first time. Mm. And that was on the bridge and, uh, and things happened there, which I can't obviously say about. But. Well, with you then in that case, it, it's all, it, all well and good, all of us loving the fact that you're back, and it's absolutely right. It's just not the same without you there. And oh, it looks thank you. <laughs> great to have you back. But what about you? When you're standing now opposite Adam in a scene, how does that feel? Oh, it's weird. I mean, Adam, when, the first time um, we did a scene together, he just started crying, and he made ah. me cry. And it's been a, quite an emotional journey for the pair of us, you know, it really has. And, um, but it's, it's lovely to do scenes with him and with Letitia and Steve. And uh, it and just feels like I'm back home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Adam really joking that now he looks older than you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but Adam's been doing the show for 30 years, so I've just a bit of time off. So. You look great. You well, look really, really well. It's very, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and so, um, so that the writers, I would have thought, uh, uh, wouldn't have been there when you were there the first time. So they've got to learn the way you would speak? Yeah, well, uh, there's a few writers that are still there, yeah, you know, from, from when I was there before. But th there's, yes, there are a, a few more writers, uh, new writers. But um, we, oh, we went up with Dominic and a few of the writers and the script editors and we sat there and we had a meeting about things about Cathy and what she was like. And there was, like, a little questionnaire and they were asking me questions. What do you think she would do? What do you think? Oh, so nice. we got all through it that way, you yeah. know. And, you know, just certain things that I just went, oh, don't forget I'm Martin's godmother. And they went, oh, we've forgotten about that. <laughs> and she was this, so certain things she did and things like that, you know. Do you know how long you're going to be there for? I mean, is this a long-term thing or is it something that we've I'm got you for a bit? I'm hoping it will be a long-term thing. It's, like, it's nice to sort of get my, my feet yeah. on the carpet, but, you yeah. know what I mean? It's lovely. Well, well if the they go to is... that much effort to bring you back... Yeah, I'm hoping <laughs> I won't be killed off of no, them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. 
Yeah. If you lead this time, yeah. I mean, you know, I think there'll be no coming back. Yes, I've got to behave myself. Be very good. So <laughs> don't don't get in any cars. No, I'm not walking along the river bank. Well, I'm not, the canal banks. I'm not doing anything <laughs> like that at all. I'm just going to be very careful. Aeroplanes are out of it for me as well. Have That's you it. Um, have you got your old dressing room back? No, my, Perry Fennick has got my old dressing room, <laughs> and I'm going to get that off of him. You wait. No, I'm just a, a temporary one at the moment till I get one sorted. Can you out find your way around? Do you know, it's difficult at the moment because it, there's so many studi new studios being built with different places, and like there's, you know, uh, Phil's house and the Bills and the Calf and the Vic. So uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm still like, you know, I don't know where I'm going. So someone has to keep coming along and taking me along on a buggy to where I'm supposed to be going. I'm getting lost, completely lost. And uh, have you, you've just had a, a nice birthday, haven't you? Yes, yes. And so happy birthday. Thank happy you very birthday. much. Yes, that was in August, yeah. Do we so. say anything about, about anything of that? Uh, yeah, so well, how did you celebrate? Well, how did I celebrate? Well, I was at work. I'd forgotten. Well, I, I'd sort of said at the very start in January when I spoke to them, it's my big birthday coming up in August. And when they said, oh, yeah, I forgot to remind them. So, of course, I was working to half past 11 on my birthday. And the night time was a night shoot. But, uh, they my, forgot? They forgot, yeah. And I forgot as well to remind them. So Because obviously they've got a lot of things to think about. <laughs> so, uh, But it was lovely because I had balloons and, and, you know, flowers. They made a fuss and, of you, then. Yeah, they made a fuss of me. So well, it was happy lovely. Happy 40th. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Phil. I love you. I love you. <laughs>